so i'm back with another let's make if you saw uh yesterday's let's make i'd made all these little butterflies and uh they were using inks uh, you can use watercolors then i embossed some and then i glittered some up using uh some gel medium and some uh what do you call that stuff glamour dust so it's all sparkly so i started making a couple of tags and I thought I would just jump on and do a video. So um, they're the two that I've already done. And I have embossed the tags. I've backed them. And I've used my butterflies. And I've used these little labels. Which are from Artie Maisie's new kit called... Uh, is it Number Labels? I think it's called. I will link it below. Um, so yeah. So I thought I'd pop on. Right. I've got some like more or less prepared here but what I did was I cut these to what size were these um they were five and a quarter by three inches and I ran it through the embossing folder which was this one but obviously you can use any one you like uh that's called budding vine and it's by craft concepts pun and frame here <laughs> uh yeah so that's what i used it's only a little one it's not like a big one so that's why i done my tags just you know enough to fit in there so this cardstock is 220 gsm and i coffee dyed it now with this embossing folder i always find that around the edges where these are they always kind of split away um so that's why i'm going to back them but first of all I'm going to have to move this because I'm going to get some ink and some water on the go. Now, obviously, you can use any colour you like. I'm using this spiced marmalade, which was um, uh, used that yesterday on the on the butterflies. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here. You can use it on a um, a block or if you want, but I'm not going to. So spraying a little water on there. Using this brush, I haven't actually put any water in these yet. And I'm just going to go around the edges, get some colour. And like I said, you can use any colour you please. Um, but I'm kind of liking this colour at the moment. If this wasn't embossed, I would kind of dab it into it, but it doesn't really do a great deal when you dab it into it when it's embossed. Well, I don't think it does anyway. Okay, so I'm going to set that on my heater to dry and we'll get some more of that on there. So I hope everyone is well. We had such a lovely day yesterday in the UK. And then today it hasn't stopped raining. <laughs> um, and there's sand falling with the rain. And my husband had said, I don't know how true it is, but it's this weather is coming in from um, the Sahara Desert. And yeah, there's like really kind of orangey sand that's falling. Um, kind of strange. It looks really weird. But it's not actually cold. It's quite mild. Right, so I'm going to leave that one to dry as well. And I'm going to put the lid back on that. I have to fill these up with water. I got them, got them months ago um, from Amazon. I think they're only like £4 on the deal for about six of them. <clears throat> Aqua brushes. Right. So we have these already done. Okay. So I'm going to back them onto there. So I'm just going to use my glue stick and make sure there's a lot on there and we shall put that there we'll rub it right down because obviously the reverse of the embossing is on that side let's give that a little wipe there Sticky and scissors. Trim that, and I'll stitch these off camera because I'm doing this as a 
um, I'm streaming this, but it's actually private at the moment. I've all once I've it's because I'm running out of space on my phone, and I'm not due for an upgrade until um, towards the end of the year. And I need all the apps that are on my phone, so. Um, Right, that's all done there, so I'll leave that there, and we'll do the other one. Yeah, so I'm streaming this as private, and then once it's all done, I will make it live. <clears throat> I think I'm doing it private, and probably people watching, and I don't even know. <laughs> that would be typical. Okay. So, I started a little thing last night, <laughs> so, and I just shared something on Facebook, and it was probably about seven years ago, and I had, I'd either done or received um, some pocket letters, and some of you will probably remember getting into the um, the craze of pocket letters, and, and they were an idea from Jeanette Lane, and um, I think everybody went bonkers making them, and you would just like send them out. So what they are is like nine, you know, the sleeves you get for your, like your football cards or baseball cards or whatever. You decorate nine little like ATCs and then you put them in and you like, obviously you've decorated them. And then in the backs of them, you've just put that little, um, that little trinkets that you could put a couple of buttons in one or uh, some old paper clips, a little bit of fabric, you know, just tiny little, like, um, you know, little gifts in the back, little treats in the back. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a swap on the Junk Journal Junkies chat group and we'll relive them. We'll relive the pocket letters because they are a load of fun. And some ladies that commented last night had said they'd never, they'd never done them or never heard of them, but they're so much fun. Um, so I'm going to set that up later on the chat group, which if you're on there, you will see that. Um, and I might do it in a spring theme because we're coming into spring. Okay, right, enough yakking gets these done. Right, so these are some, I've got these little girl images, which I've backed onto cardstock, used these scissors to go around the edge. And then obviously I'll, I'll do, um, I'll do, I'm going to do these two and then do the other two that I'm waiting waiting to dry and I've just got some Edith Holden there and I just stripped that off. I'm going to use wet glue for this because of the embossing. Um kind of want it to 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 stay and I'm not sure that the stick glue will do that very well. And I'm going to make sure there's enough especially around the edges so that it sticks well. Okay, so I'll just put that one like that. I'm just going to check that I am in frame. Yes, <laughs> I'm worried about not being in frame. So plenty of glue. And stick that down. Then we will stick these down. You could put some cheesecloth behind that. I'm only going to put some cheesecloth behind my butterflies when I pop them on. And again, making sure you've got plenty around the edges. These tags are going to be quite um, thick because of the amount of cardstock that I've used. And I'm going to keep them quite high up so it's not like centre, it's more towards the top that I'm popping these on. And then this little cutie, look at her, she's just so cute. And look at that hair, can you imagine having that beautiful hair at that age? Oh, talking of hair, <laughs> I'm, I have been dark, like dark medium brown for about five years and before that I have been blonde most of my life um a strawberry blonde as a child <laughs> uh not ginger strawberry blonde anyway saturday <clears throat> as part of my birthday treats i'm having on my hair and i'm going back blonde 
Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'll show you, I'll show on Facebook the um, the transition. So it'll be like 49, still dark hair, 50, blonde. <laughs> Okay, right, some cheesecloth, which I have just dyed with um, some tea. <clears throat> I'll just cut a little bit off there. And cut that up like so. There's like a, not a seam, like a, a gathered hem there so I'm going to take that off and this bit here and we will put that there and I've got two butterflies already I'm not sure if I want that blue one to be honest so I'm going to put pop the blue one back in and we get one of them instead So again, this one, <clears throat> some of them have, uh, I've only done a few of the embossing ones, like I said, and the rest are all the gloss medium. Right, I'm going to just have them slightly coming off the tag. And gonna come in with well, it's a bit skew with I'm gonna come in with these tickets labels sorry from Artemis like I said I will link that below it's just a new kit so she, she said she was releasing it today but she thinks she has and so that will go there like that then we will pop a tab on plenty of glue I don't want that coming off so <laughs> plenty of glue we will put that on and actually one of the other pages with that kit, I'm just going to have a quick look. Um, is like black numbers. I'm going to see if there's any small enough that I'll be able to pop on the tabs. Just having a quick look here. Put some glue on here. I will also link Andrea's video with um, her showing you the, this uh, label kit and the things that she's done with it. It's all in the one video. Um, she's got some um, good ideas of what to do with some of them because some of them, the, some of the labels are blank, and you, she's shown you how she's done it or what you can do with it. Um, <clears throat> and I thought I will share that as well. So we have. Another one of these. And we'll pop that there. At least that's straight. Yep, I think. It's hard when you've got a camera over over here when my head would normally go there to see if everything's all lined up and straight okay so that's them two done so we've got them 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 i can't talk these two and then these two and i'm going to find my other lady images my little girl images which are there I hadn't cut them out because I wasn't I, I wasn't actually sure whether I was going to do a video so I like her and so we'll use these two and I do like these little girl images they're ever so pretty right 
So I'm going to get a bit of cardstock. And it's just white, but I am going to um, ink up around the edge. So I'm just going to put some glue on there. this one I'm going to come in with you can obviously use any form of decorative scissors that you that you have or you like and I'm just going to go around just to give us a little border I got these from um, Hobby Craft here in the UK many moons ago and I do believe it was the children's section I got like 12 or 15 different ones and I can only find these <laughs> I don't know where they've all gone um, when I had my, my desk clear up when I done that collaboration I kind of put things away that I didn't actually use and I just kept out things that I use on a regular basis but for some reason I can't find my, scissors, my other decorative scissors that I would normally use. They'll be somewhere. <laughs> okay then I am going to just ink up around the edges of these. So these are really quick easy tags to do you know I don't do anything over complicated so <laughs> um, you know everything is easy peasy lemon squeezy for me I like fast results like, I don't want to be sitting for an hour making one tag um, I want I want to make at least six eight in that time right so they're dry and I'm just going to ink just around the edges because obviously we're going to cover the middle in so you're not really going to see it so don't waste don't waste it now I actually have got um, like a, a gold metallic paint that would have been good to to rub just maybe here and there but I can't reach it from where I am and I've got earphones attached to my phone because my earbud things, ear pods are not charged so I can't move, <laughs> you won't hear me. Right so um, a little bit of coffee dyed, nope tea dyed, tea dyed paper. Excuse my inky fingers, but that's all you can tell. That's all I've been doing is inking up uh, for the last couple of hours. So we're supposed to be having a bit of a um, heat wave. When I say heat wave, I think they said it's going to get up to about 16, 17 degrees, which isn't really a heat wave, but it is for this time of year. Um, so the weekend's supposed to be really nice, and I'm looking forward to that. I think we all we could all be doing with some decent weather. <coughs> okay. I'm just making sure that's all stuck down and do the same to the other one. I feel like I'm, I'm less rushy when I'm doing a video um, when I do it live but hidden if you know what I mean because I know that it's just going to upload anyway. Because when I do a video on my phone 
even if it's like 10 to 15 minutes it will it can take an hour for it to to upload and if i had to transfer it onto a computer and do it that way it can take like half a day so <clears throat> that is an option ladies if you do a, if if you have the ability to do a live because i know not everyone can on youtube depending on how long you've been on and how many subscribers or whatever you've you've got i don't know if that's changed but um, you can always do a live, keep it unlisted, and then just release it when, when you want to. Okay, so that's that. I can feel a cheeky sneeze coming along. <laughs> right, I've got this. This is some of Artie Maisie's French ephemera. So I'm just going to tear a little bit there. And I want the piece right let's see if we can do that yep it all came away sometimes it doesn't right. okay so let's tear that away we got a good size there and just obviously eyeball that ink up around the edges some wet glue So if you want to see how I done them butterflies, I will put it on the end of the screen at the end of the video on the screen. You can just click click on that and it will take you straight to the the video. And you can check out my playlist called Let's Make because that has all my like my videos of where I'm just making things to pop into journals. And we will put that there. So we glue these. Yeah, you can find a lot of links below in the description box. Um, I think I might still have the Amazon deal for the UK for the two packs of wax linen thread. That might, I'll see if I can put that on there. I'll check to see if it's still on a deal or on a good price. Um, two lots of these. One neutral or white and one this brown colour for like eight pound ninety five and I had been paying eight pound ninety five for one and you can get two for that and I've been using these for my tags the colour because I like it um so yeah that's the deal at the moment that I found I know a few ladies have jumped over and bought it the last one that I bought was well over a year ago and obviously you know I do make a lot of journals so um, it was well worth the price and you'll find links to some of the groups that I run so my shop my Pinterest my Instagram <laughs> I'm trying to remember everything that I've linked um, and my donate button if you wanted to donate like a coffee or something. I don't use buy buy me a coffee anymore because of all well, the nightmare of it is, you know, you can't use PayPal with it anymore and um so I've just got a donate button that's just straight to my PayPal. Um, you know, and there's there's no minimum whereas with the buy me a coffee I think it was like five pounds 
Whereas the donate button, you know, if you wanted, to, if you only wanted to donate to someone you, like fifty p, you could do fifty p, um, which I think is a lot better, because not, you know, I donate to to certain things, and sometimes there's like a minimum, um, and you know, sometimes we all can't afford sort of the minimum. I'm not talking about YouTube ladies or anything like that. I'm talking about charities and stuff. Some of them, you know, it is a minimum. And when you want to donate to like quite a few of them, it can it can soon add up. <clears throat> okay, so let's find some butterflies. Um, I do like that one. And if you seen if you watch the video, they had actually like curly tails on them, come right down and curled over. But I chopped them off. I do like that. Um, let's see. That one. I'm going to have to do more of these in different colours. Um, it was just something that popped into my head yesterday. So, I've done it. I don't know what to use. I've used one of them already. It doesn't really matter, does it? Right, I'm going to use them. Uh, someone had commented on my video as well, saying that with embossing, when i done these, I showed the little ranger dabber embossing thing um that <clears throat> i bought through um well after seeing tracy fox use it and i thought well, it must be a lot easier than the you know the embossing ink pads anyway i really in, enjoy using the little dobber thing if you watch the video i show it in that video um but somebody said about using glycerin and i thought oh and i thought of that um i don't have any glycerin <laughs> But I might get some just to try it. Um, so plenty of glue on that. And having it come slightly off, slightly off the page. I should have actually done some like the other way around. Like put that that side and had it more. But obviously I wasn't thinking. Um, seen all of the number like the all of the 29 but I don't mind that it's because the butterfly is rather large <coughs> oh, excuse me I'm gonna have to take a little sip of juice so I'm going to use that label And and then we'll put the butterfly on, a bit of cheesecloth under there. So there we have it. Little collection of tags embossed with butterflies there we go so i hope you enjoyed this um if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye